So, you know, we've had these great moments with Damian Lillard, but it's gone nowhere, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe this guy is going to be, I mean, I don't think it's any shock. I think this guy's going to be a hall of famer. No question. Um, so, but I guess the, the real question is, you know, a lot of people are asking, should Damian Lillard leave Portland to go get a championship to really secure his legacy? Or do you think he should stay and stay loyal to Portland? And I mean, at least in Portland, he'll forever be remembered. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, So a part of me wants him to remain with Portland just because there's really very few players that remain with one team through the start to the end of their career nowadays. I mean, Kobe Bryant, Dirk Nowinski, uh, Tim Duncan, they're really the only ones that stand out uh, that stayed at one team from Mm -hmm. start to the end. And, you know, Dame Lillard has been in the league now for, I think, more than 10 years. I think he's on year 11 now. And with the Blazers and all iterations from playoff to not a playoff to play in, I would really love for Damian William, uh, excuse me, for Damian Lillard to stay with Portland for that part of it itself. But that's unfair to his talent to just stay in Portland. So I would say, un- I don't want to say regrettably, but I would love to see Damian Lillard win a championship. In Portland would be better, but let's be honest. Portland's not winning a championship in the near future. I know that they traded for Jeremy Grant. They have a couple of pieces, but they're not nearly ready to win. They have so much more that is required that it would be needed to help Lillard. I think I think it'd be best if Lillard went to a new team to win a championship just to earn it because he is one of the best players that this NBA has seen, especially in the same generation of class that you know players like Steph Curry is in James Harden Damian Lillard is up in that level if not you know arguments could be made that he's almost better than them depending on the situation I think it would be I think it would be a a disservice if he didn't leave his career with a championship I would say I think I need to see him on a new team to get that championship just to solidify you know, that he is that guy. And I think he could, I can think he he's not just a role player. He can be a guy that you bring in to build around. That's just ready to win now, not just a a secondary piece to, um, to complement the star. Like he could be the star, but the better, the pieces are there that are better to make that team a championship team. So that's what I would say is I'd like to see him win a championship, but I think he's got to go elsewhere to win it. Well, I think um, for argument's sake, I'm I'm going to say Damian Lillard needs to stay. Um, you know, Kobe stayed with the Lakers. Now, the Lakers are a bigger brand, of course. Um, you know, Kobe was winning championships as well. Mm-hmm. So that helps, of course. Um, you know, you talk about... Um, Oh man, I'm totally blank. Uh, sorry, Tim Tim Duncan. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Tim Duncan is is another guy who was, you know, with the Spurs forever for his whole career. But again, he won championships. Dirk stayed with that team. That team was very close for a few years, and then they mm-hmm. finally did win one um, against a very talented uh, Miami Heat that year. Um, so, you know. The, the common the common denominator that I see in those is the championships. Now, having said all that, I think Charles Barkley would actually be more... And Charles Barkley is already very popular as it is. I mean, he's mm-hmm. made a great name for himself in, in uh, broadcasting, which has, I think, really helped his legacy as well. Mm-hmm. But I do think that if Charles Barkley would have stayed... In or you know, with the Suns, for example, let's say he stayed with the Suns or the 76ers, mm-hmm. I think he would be forever remembered as a guy who was very loyal. Like, we still talk about in the NFL, we talk about Dan Marino. Dan Marino stayed with the Dolphins his whole career, mm-hmm. yet he never won a championship. But we talk about him as you know, he's still one of the greatest. So, I do think there is a part of, of that that will happen for Damian Lillard. 
This guy was phenomenal. We're not going to forget about Damian Lillard. At least I won't because, well, he's a Raider fan too. So, right. You know. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, Damian Lillard is a guy who has done nothing but show up game in, game, game out. Uh, he doesn't do these rest days. Um, he's a guy who's always going to play. If he's healthy, he's there. Um, and I just think it's a rare breed. It's a guy that we've seen games like this where he can score 71 points. We re- we know the game time. I, I mean, for God's sakes, I did it. I did it at basketball today. <laughs> I, I was like, we were up by a lot. We were up by like, uh, I want to say like five or six points. So, um, which we play by one. So that's, that was pretty big in the world. Um, of pickup, that's like, a, that's like up by 20. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I just crossed half court and I was like, shoot, I'm going to shoot it right here. I'm going to, I'm, I was hot. I yeah. was hot. So I was like, heat check, man. So I took it and I drained it and I just went the game time right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, 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 we got it. So, um, you know, we we all know who Damian Lillard is, um, and I think we're always going to. And I think we get enamored with places like L.A., New York, mm-hmm. uh, Miami, for example. I mean, we get enamored with these big cities. Oh, you know, if you're in this big city, you're gonna your legacy is gonna live on forever. Uh, that's true. Like, I mean, the Jets just said that they're like, we're gonna, you know, if Derek Carr comes here and wins with the Jets, he's gonna be first ballot Hall of Famer. They're not saying that Derek Carr is this all-time great player, um, you know, that he's going to be, you know, viewed as the number one quarterback ever. But what they're saying is because it's in New York and you win, a.k.a. Eli Manning, who won two Super Bowls, but we were kind of having the conversation is, is he a Hall of Famer? What the Jets are saying is if you win in New York as a Jet, like Joe Namath, who actually has a losing record overall mm-hmm. and he won that one Super Bowl and we all know the finger wave you're you're cemented you're done you're in that's what they were trying to say mm-hmm. so it, it just it, it is a little funny that everyone was like up in arms about saying about that but I do think it's the same with Damian Lillard I think you stay in like you stay in Portland and you show your loyalty I think people are going to remember that for a very very long time and especially Mm -hmm. portland if in nowhere else portland you will always be remembered and i think because it's portland that's the other thing is because it's such a small city people are like oh no one's gonna remember it It was portland no one's gonna remember that yes they will because it's so random like why would someone want to stay with the portland trailblazers their whole entire career well Damian Lillard did it. So that's kind of my argument. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. I would be glad if he left and he went and won a championship somewhere else. But I'd also be very glad if he stayed in Portland and just continues to do what he's doing. And hopefully he can win a uh, um, a championship with Portland. But I'm with you. I'm just, I don't see it right now. Uh, but hopefully he can, you know. Uh, that would be really, really um just great for his legacy because he's such a likable player he's such a he's such a player that he's not this smug jerk that he you know argues all these calls the whole time um you know he just plays his game and he just he's always calm he never gets too high never gets too low um he's a phenomenal player and i i i hope um that uh, the city of portland gets to have see him uh in a parade i i really do yeah I agree.